welcome to my home, the British Virgin Islands, a boasting topography of green and brilliant hillsides, where beautiful trees sway gently in tranquil ocean breeze, and our pristine shorelines are hugged by a warm crystal clear Caribbean sea. These islands have served as the perfect home away from home for visitors near and far who are welcomed by a culturally diverse people having a common thread of genuine charm and island hospitality. Then came September 6th and everything changed. My home experienced a devastating, never before seen Category 5 Hurricane Irma interrupting our harmonious and wholesome way of life, leaving only devastation in its stead. Leveled our landscape, destroyed homes, schools, and businesses. When the wind and water settled, we emerged from the rubbles and our various hiding places to the heartbreak of our new normal. Amidst our uncertainty, we are brought face to face with the reality of global warming. The debates around this topic may reveal truths on both sides and the discussions are often inconclusive, leaving many to believe global warming is just a scientific phenomenon. However, given the vast changes in our climatic conditions and the uncommon nature of sudden onslaughts of weather-related issues and having been severely affected by this unusual, powerful Atlantic storm, the most catastrophic storm ever recorded in world's history, which brought with it tornado force winds, we can no longer turn a blind eye to the fact that our climate has changed. As Miss British Virgin Islands representative to Miss World, I would like to use this platform to bring awareness to this issue. Considering that small island states will suffer greatly as hurricanes and typhoons will increase in power, Sea levels will rise and flooding will become more common. I am doing my part on the beauty with a purpose. I have joined forces with UNICEF and the BVI Mental Health Services as part of our rebuilding process in an effort to restore the beautiful British Virgin Islands. The, the trauma I've uh, been witnessing here is uh, very serious and uh, we have uh, the fortune of having the Miss World BVI, Helene Hewlett. She's a wonderful person. I think she's going to uh, do a good job. She's just now facilitating a session and uh, that is just wonderful and we hope that we get uh, support that are so critical in terms of children's well-being. Uh, so I really congratulate Miss World for her commitment, her personal commitment to, to children's well-being and children's rights here in BVI. And I'm here with reigning queen Miss Helena Hewlett as we present the Return to Happiness program under the auspices of UNICEF. I am an ambassador of change and my focus must begin with our children. Through this partnership and as a trained facilitator of UNICEF's Return to Happiness program, we have hosted sessions in our schools and various shelters. After such a traumatic experience, the psychological well-being of our most vulnerable is paramount. The Evelyn Henley Roche Learning Center our territory's only school for the differently abled. This and many of our schools on island have been destroyed completely. And this is what's left. Miss World, through Beauty with a Purpose, has committed the first $10,000 along with the support of the reigning Miss World to help us rebuild this institution. As Miss World BVI 2016, I am honored to be joining forces with our reigning Miss World BVI Helena Hewlett and the Miss World organization in efforts to rebuilding our adopted school, the Edlin Henley Rochelle Institution. Your commitment towards helping us rebuild can be made through donations to the Miss World Beauty with a Purpose Foundation. 
Help us to create normalcy for the differently abled children and also to restore the beautiful Virgin Islands. I'd like to congratulate you very much, Alina, on being the BVI representative to Miss World. Thank you. I'd like to thank very much uh, Julia Marley and the Miss World organization for the commitment that they've made to helping us rebuild this institution, the S.N. Henley Risha Learning Centre. The local Miss World committee have been working very closely with this school for the last four years, and we're very pleased with the support that they have been able to give. As the world would know, we had a very devastating hurricane, Hurricane Irma, that did significant damage to the Virgin Islands. A lot of our schools were damaged, including this institution, the Estate Henley Wishy Learning Center. And this is a school, a special school for differently abled students. It's the only one that we had in the entire territory. And so the students who we usually educate here right now are not in education at all because we do not have an institution to teach them in. And so we, we need your full support and we want to thank you again very much for the commitment. We're looking forward to having this school up and running again very soon with your help.